Good afternoon, YouTube. Johnny. I, uh, this is a Monday. It is March the 18th. It is 2.32 in the afternoon here in West Michigan. It's a Monday, March the 18th. And I just got two packages from my wife. <laughs> so it says on here, books. So let's see what my wife sent me. So, yeah, I thought she'd bring these books home with her from her trip out to visit. Well, first she went to Seattle or Mercer Island and visit our son, his wife, Hannah, and our little granddaughter, Marika Rose. And she went to some bookstore there and she called me up. And uh, so I thought she was going to bring these books home in her suitcases. I didn't know she, she didn't say she was going to send them in the mail. So I don't know what these are. So maybe she didn't want to carry them in the suitcase. Let me see what these are. What these are. Let me see. Oh, these are the, uh, oh, you know, she mentioned these. <coughs> these are Philip Larkin Letters to Monica, edited by Anthony Thrawaite. Yeah, she, she mentioned this on, hi, Johnny. Surprise, I'll be home soon. <laughs> Love you, that's what she wrote. <laughs> Surprise. And then, uh, this is a biography on, by Stephen Hoot, Samuel Tupps. So she got that. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I last year I read the uh, the journals of Samuel Pe Peeps Peeps. <laughs> Somebody in France corrected my pronunciation and so, yeah, I read a biography of him I didn't read the whole thing I get but I read most of it last year so yeah what is this she put it in a Lego box uh, Marika Rose is really into into uh, Legos. So what is this? Love and Picasso, the private journal of Fernando Freinden. The private journal of Freinden Oliver. Translated from the French by Christine Baker and Michael Rayburn. Forward and notes by Marilyn McCulley. Epilogue by John Richardson. Fran Oliver Olivier, Olivier, the first real love in the life of pa Pablo Picasso, left a vivid account of the years she spent with the great artist, 1905 to 1912 which happened to coincide with the period of Picasso's most revolutionary work. So this is her, uh, her uh, private journal. So what else is in here? Then this is H.P. Lovecraft, A Life by S.T. Josie. And then what is this? Divine Visions, The Life of Philip K. Dick by Lawrence Sutton. So that's what she sent me. So she knows I like biographies and memoirs and letters and journals. That's what she knows I like. She even called me up today. I was at the Book Nook where I volunteer at the library used bookstore, the Book Nook, and she called me up there. She was at a library there in Denver, 
with our daughter and our, our grandchildren, and she they had some used books, and she called me up and said, do you want this, do you want that? And I said, no. So this is what I got. She sent me Phil Larkin, Letters to Monica. Well, I read about these letters. For 40 years, they exchanged letters, Philip Larkin and Monica. That it was more, uh, yeah, this remarkable unpublished correspondence only came to light after Monica Jones' death in 2001 and consists of nearly 2,000 letters, postcards, telegrams, which chronicle day by day, sometimes hour by hour, every aspect of Larkin's life and the conflations of their relationship. The letters deal extensively with other writers living and dead, D.H. Lawrence, Hardy, Thomas Hardy, Catherine Mansfield, Kipling, Dickens, Kingsley, Kingsley Ames, with the experience that shaped Larkin's poems. Their impressionistic immediacy liberally sprinkled with Larkin's cartoons and their relaxed privacy offer a view of the poet's personality and its resources, which was often screened from other epistatory relationships. So, yeah, Philip Larkin is, Larkin is one of my favorite poets. I've read biographies. I have, I have his poetry. So, yeah, I got, and then it's Samuel Pepp's A Life by Stephen Coote. This Stephen Coote, he, um, he's written a lot of biographies. I looked him up on the, um, the internet. He wrote a biography on Lord Byron, a biography on William Morris, a biography on Keats, a biography on Yeats, and a life of Charles II, the royal survivor. H.P. Lovecraft, I have some of his stories. I, I need to collect more of him, but I want a, a biography. Last year or the year before, I read a historical fiction on the life of H.P. Lovecraft that I really enjoyed. I talked about it in past videos. I collect the writings of Philip, Philip K. Dick. Uh, I don't have not read him, but I collect them. And, of course, I have a big Picasso collection biographies, books on paintings, all kinds of stuff. I like reading about Paris and that time period from about 1900 up until, really up until after the Second World War. Because really after the Second World War, when you get into the late 40s and 50s, art moved to New York City, and that's why you get into the abstract a abstract impressionistic painters and because d during the war in Paris some of the artists, the photographers, intellectuals, they fled Nazi Germany and they went to England but they also came to America, they came to New York City. I've just been reading that. So anyway, so that's what I got in the mail. Love and Picasso, the private journals of Fernanda Olivier, I can't pronounce it. The Life of Philip Dick, Divine, Vi Divi and Divine Invasions, The Life of Philip Dick, Dick, Philip K. Dick by Lawrence Stutton, H.P. Lovecraft, A Life by S.T. Shohai, uh, Samuel Pepp's A Life by Stephen Coote, Philip Larkin, Letters to Monica. At the book nook today, I read, I showed this, I was going to read this over the weekend. I checked this out of the library. I got on Inner Library Alone, Life Class, The Selective Memoir, Memoirs of Diana Adhill. So I read that at the book nook today. And I brought home from the book nook this used book, George Washington, America, A Biography Through His Maps by Burnett Schechter. Shakespeare. See, it's all his maps. It tells his biography through his maps. <laughs> and I, I looked at it. It looked pretty fascinating. I, I collect books on colonial America, American Revolution. I'm a, I'm a history, American history. I'm a student of American history. It just tells the history, the biography and the life of, of George Washington through maps of his time. And uh, so it looks kind of interesting. Is 
it's only you know it's only a couple of dollars. So that was my book from the book nook. This is what I read at Hill Live class. Got some books, the catalog now in my library things site. That's about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. You know, it's like it's going on three o'clock. I'm gonna go doze. Tomorrow's a Tuesday. The sun is shining. So I'll sign off. I'll thank you for the comments. I do, I do appreciate the new subscribers. People come and go, but uh, I, I do like the inter I do like the comments. I do like the interaction. I do like to know what you are reading and what you are finding at or thrift stores or used book sales or the library. So I'll sign off, look at my new books, write in my diary, throw this trash away into the recycling bin. And until next time, hope you're having a good day. I'll probably make a video tomorrow. I was going to do, I have a to be red pile over there in the living room I might show tomorrow. So I'll sign off until next time. Bye.